Some other news now. It will be a very different year as kids head back to class, according to Governor Kathy Hochul. Today she announced the end of school COVID restrictions and shared the new rules your children's schools will be following. Channel 2's Rob Hackford has more on what to know and Rob, a lot changing here. Kate, it's a case of what with out with the old and in with the new because most of the classroom COVID rules from last fall are being wiped out or significantly changed. The governor said these changes are meant to align state guidance with the CDC, which changed their rules just over a week ago. First, quarantining is going away. If a student or staff member is exposed to the virus, all they are recommended to do is wear a mask for 10 days and get tested. Gone are the days of tests to stay and entire classrooms being sent home because of exposure. Only when someone is symptomatic are they advised to isolate, get tested, and if positive, stay home for five days. There won't be random testing either, but Governor Hochul did say that each student will be sent home with a test kit. The state's Vax to School program is one of the only holdovers from last fall because as health professionals have repeatedly said, getting vaccinated for COVID is your best protection. Parents, it's a very different year. It's a very different year, especially if your kids are vaccinated. We do have test kits. We're trying to just draw down uh, the anxiety associated with uh, sending your children off to school this year, and it is a much better year. Well, school districts will have more control over whether getting a negative test is required to return to someone if someone does get sick. The same is true for close contact scenarios. The governor used a choir group as one example where students could be required by the district to get tested. Well, the governor did say the state will be monitoring caseloads as well as we head into the fall, given that they have seen previous spikes heading into the colder months. In the Information Center, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News. Kate.